Okay, friends, I'm in another one of these dilemmas I really need your help with, which is that I ended up with an extra hour before I have to pick up Torval, and I'm right next to the Goodwill. Now, I'm having a love-hate relationship with Goodwill right now. I appreciate them. I found good stuff there over the years, but their prices are nuts, and they will no longer do 50% off sales or half off day, that's the same thing as a 50% off sale. <laughs> they don't have color tags or any of that. So they just kind of make me mad. I'm trying to really stick to like ch church thrift stores, but I'm right next to one and I have an hour. I could do something like, I don't know, sit here and list or from my car or share my closet or go hang out on whatnot and chat with people or I could pop in to the Goodwill. I'm selling more on whatnot now, so I cannot afford to buy dresses for $10 and jeans for $10 and shirts for seven. That's not gonna work on whatnot. On whatnot, people want the deals. Wearing this free people dress, it's really kind of a nice color. I'll get a better picture of it when I go to the thrift store. <laughs> I don't need anything, do you? Don't need anything. I could just go look for myself, not necessarily for resale, and I could take you along with me. But this free people dress was um, on the rack of either wear it, Quemby, or or you're getting rid of it. So I put it on today. Now I don't have to get rid of it. <laughs> ah, all right, we'll pop in the Goodwill real quick. This is a huge Goodwill, the biggest one that I'm aware of in my area. It's huge, but it's expensive. Mm. I have found some good stuff here though in the past. We'll do a quick pop in and you guys can come with me. How about that? Okay, let's do it. So this store is just enormous. I tend to look at this first rack because I find some really great stuff here. I don't know if people just use it as a go back rack or something. Beautiful embroidered top, but this brand wasn't anything. Love. And I loved the print on this J. Crew top. I would definitely pick this up if it was less expensive. I'm not paying $6.99. Let's go look at one of my favorite sections is the dresses. Dresses at Goodwill are $9.99. What is this beauty? Eliza J, which is a pretty good brand, and it's a size 12. What do you guys think of this one? I did pass on it because I just thought $9.99 for that one in particular was a little bit much. Let's take a look at these cute, fun handbags. This little plaid one over here caught my eye, but I wasn't familiar with this brand. It was American. Let's take a look at some of the things that I pulled. The brand on this is Apropos. I couldn't find great comps, but I love this size XL maxi dress. For $10 though, I'm probably gonna put that one aside. This is a new tag J. Jill Wherever collection. So that is a definite yes. New tags. What else do I have here? There's that bag again. I just couldn't let the idea of that bag go, but it had kind of a cheap tag on it, so I don't think it was anything. This is a fun piece. It's by a brand I find every once in a while and sell really well. It's Synergy Organic, so it's one of these eco-friendly brands. I live in Northern California, so I find it every once in a while. That was like a, either a skirt or a dress with this really interesting long tie. So I'll have to definitely put that one on my mannequin so I can show it. Let's see, what do we have here? Hidden with the dresses, a pair of denim overalls by Lucky Brand. 
I'm filming this in the summer of 2022 and overalls are so popular right now. So that's a great brand. Ooh, look at this fun tie-dye dress. It's by Universal Thread by Target, which I really do love, but not at the price of $10. And this is a Columbia brand, kind of a sports dress. I went back and forth about this, but I think I am going to take this Soft Surroundings. It's a great brand. It's 100% wool. And look at the beautiful stitching embroidery details. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Since it's summer, I've been doing really well in the jackets and sweaters because no one's shopping there. This is an amazing brand, Carlisle, but the comps on eBay just aren't great on this brand, even though it's really expensive. So I think I'm gonna pass on that, but I definitely recommend shopping out of season at the thrift store because I've just been finding really amazing stuff. And fall and winter will be here before we know it and it'll be time to be listing. This could have been a cool login look piece. And what do we have here? OMG, a heavyweight plaid pea coat by J. Jill Newid Tag, $249. Goodwill wants $20. What do we think? Ooh, look at this, a J. Jill Love Linen. If this was any other size other than extra small petite, I would have definitely grabbed that. But for $10, extra small petite's gonna be a tough sale for me. So let's see what else we can find in this dress section. What's this? Ooh, this is Athleta, but you can tell it's an older piece. It looked a little bit dated to me. A little bit of fade, so I'm going to leave that one behind and keep looking through the dresses. OMG, what is this? It is a dress by Retrolicious covered in sushi. It's a sushi dress. I found Soma, which is such an expensive, intimate sleepwear brand. I love this dress. It's white with ivory crochet lace. Fantastic. But when I pull out my phone and check comps, I just don't think I can get like 30 to 40, which is what I want if I'm gonna pay $10. This is adorable, Voodoo Vixen. Is anyone familiar with this brand? It looks like a retro pinup style. But again, when I looked it up, comps just weren't there. So let's do a little bit of sorting now. Okay, I like to go by a window at the front of the store for my quality control. You guys, this is a J. Jill size large down jacket, and it's a long one, a long lightweight puffer. So for $10, yes, I can definitely do that. Should we get this Retrolicious Sushi dress? It looks like comps are around $40 on this on eBay, so... I just have to get it. It's adorable, it has pockets, and it's covered in sushi. Yes, please. What do we think about this J. Jill jacket? It is just gorgeous, heavy, wool pea coat, new tag, $249 price tag. I think I'm gonna do it for 20, you guys, because I'll put it up there for like 99, probably. These are those overalls, Lucky Brand overalls. Um, overalls are so hot right now. I think I'm going to take those as well. What else do we have in here? I went back and forth $10 for a wool soft surroundings jacket. I think because of the style on this with all the embroidery and if I can find a stock photo, that'd be great. I think I'm going to pick it up for 10. And before we check out, let's take a cruise through my favorite section, the linens. Oh my goodness. This is so sweet. It must be like a birthday towel with an anthropology tag on it. I think little hand towels like this are only a dollar or two. So that would be such a fun piece. I'll check comps whether I should resell it or whether I should keep it myself. But I am starting to sell more home goods and that is just too cute. What else can we find? 
What is this? It's an apron. I bet it's the same owner of that towel. It's from Sir Latab, which is an extremely expensive home goods store. So it's new at Tag too. So let's pop that baby in the cart. Okay, well that was pretty amazing. That store is so big, I didn't even make a dent. I just did dresses and jackets, but I'm filming this at the end of July 2022 and nobody is in the jacket section. Everyone's looking at shorts and swim and some sundresses, but those J. Jill coats, one was $20, but it was new with tag with a $249 price tag on it. And a J. Jill size large down jacket I'm gonna make so much profit off this haul. I'm gonna list most of the stuff myself because I had to pay, you know, $10 for jackets and $10 for dresses. I doubt I'll put them on whatnot unless I put them in like the buy it now category because I just spent too much money on them. And I think on whatnot, everyone's really looking for the deals, the $2 deals. So thanks for coming along with me. It was super fun. Come to one of my lives on Fridays. Friday's at 5 p.m. Pacific, so that's 8 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. A bunch of resellers come and we just hang out and talk all about reselling. It's really fun. We'd love to see you there. Bye for now, friends.